Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Pulsar Text Editor, which is the successor to Atom on a Windows laptop. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is open up a browser. Okay, and we're going to go to pulsar-edit.dev. Okay, and we see this website here. This is the website for Pulsar. Uh, we're going to click download. And we want to find the regular releases down here. Click on Windows. And you see this info here. It says current binaries are not signed, so we'll produce an error with Windows Smart Screen. Windows protected your PC. You can bypass this by clicking more info and run anyways. So we're going to need to do that. We're going to click on the setup here and download the installer. Once that's done, we'll go ahead with the installation. Okay, so I've downloaded the um, executable file for Pulsar. My virus checker just came up that it has an uncertain reputation because it's not signed. So um, you may have to work your way around the virus checker as well. I'm going to go to my downloads folder here. And again, this is up to you to whether you want to install this or not. I'm going to right click and click open. But I, I, trust um, Pulsar. So you see here it says Windows protected your PC. Um, Microsoft Defender smart screen prevented an unrecognized app from starting. Running this app might put your PC at risk. I'm going to click more info and then I'm going to click run anyways. Okay. Now here my virus checker comes up again and it says our information on this file is inconclusive. Re we recommend not using this file unless you know it's safe. For me, I trust it, but again, the choice is up to you. I'm going to click here, More Options, and click Always Run Program. And the uh, Setup Wizard will come up. Uh, I'm going to set it up only for myself, but you can set it up for anyone who uses a computer if you want. I'm going to click Next. And again, this, uh, the, this might come up. Um, Click View Details, and I can say Exclude Process here. And I can close this stuff out. And I may need to actually run this again, so I'm going to click Open. Click Next, and then click Install. Okay, So you may have to do that. With In this case, you saw that the virus checker was saying, hey, the other thing, once you uh, start the program, if you create a folder, you may have to deal with your virus checker again because it might say, hey, it's trying to create a folder on your computer. And you're like, yeah, I'm trying to create a folder. Uh, so you have to exclude that process as well, uh, depending on what your virus checker is. Mine is Norton. Okay, so now you see it's finished the setup, um, created a desktop icon over here. I'm gonna click finish, and I have this check, so I run Pulsar once I click finish. And here we go, it's starting up. All right, so uh, you can uncheck this if you don't wanna see the welcome guide every time it starts up. Uh, and then let's try and add a folder here to so see what happens. I'm going to go to my desktop, create a new folder. Let's call this test. Okay, and I'm going to select the folder. And that one was okay. So sometimes your virus checker may come up. Let's try and create a file now. Uh, I'm going to create an index.html. And okay, so that's all running good. And you know, now I can start coding and working on my project. Hopefully you found this video interesting. If you did, uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.